Do you want to make animations with Blender? This tutorial is going to show you how to animate with keyframes in Blender, but specifically it's going to go over the following. Number one, you're going to learn the basics of keyframes, and number two, you're going to learn how to apply those keyframes to a rigged model and make that animated. And what this is going to result in is an old school RuneScape animation that does the ice barrage effect. So, to get started with this tutorial, we are going to make a very basic animation of keyframes and our default cube. What we're going to do is we're going to have our cube move from one side of the screen to the other. The first thing we need to do is set up our camera, just pretty much move it around using the options till we can see our cube probably on the left hand side of the screen. Now comes to the animating part. The first thing we want to do is select our cube and hit the I for intestines key to add a keyframe. Select the option that is location, rotation and scale. This pretty much locks in all those values for this specific point in time. Now we want to move ahead in our timeline which is located at the bottom of the screen to where we want our animation to end. I'm going to end it on frame 60. Now we're end it selected frame 60, we want to reposition the cube. Simply just move it to where you want it. Hit I again and hit either available or location, rotation and scale again. And that sets the end point for our animation. When you hit the play button, now the cube should move from the left hand side of the screen to the right hand side of the screen. Easy. All right, now we've got the basics of keyframes out of the way, let's start actually looking at some fun stuff, which is doing this with a rigged character. What we're gonna animate is the ancient magic casting animation. You know the one. This animation is a really good starting point because it has three clear poses that we need to animate. We have the neutral stance, what I call the power up stance, and number three, which is the freeze the goblin boys in the wilderness pose. By the way, if you don't know how to rig the character, do check out my other tutorials, I'll have links in the description. So, let's get animating. Step one is to create our starting keyframe. Exactly like before, we enter pose mode in the top left hand corner of the screen, then highlight all the bones and hit I for interactive and select location, rotation and scale. Now what we want to do is move ahead in our timeline. This is roughly 11 frames and we want to get the character prepped in the second pose, which is the charging up pose. So select the individual bones and rotate them accordingly till you get it looking just about right. This can take a bit of time. It's a bit of trial and error. Then select all the bones again and hit I to create another keyframe. Repeat this step again for the third pose and we nearly have our animation. We just need to return the character to the original pose. Now, you could go across and reposition everything again, but that's just gonna be a lot of effort and really hard and there's an easy shortcut. Simply go to your first frame, right click it, hit duplicate, and then move your cursor to the end part of your animation, which is roughly frame 60. There you are, you're done. Now hit play and you should have the ancient magic casting animation. Now you know how to animate with keyframes. If you're stuck on any part of this tutorial or just want to share some awesome stuff, make sure to pop in my Discord. I've got a link in the description. Also, let me know in the comments what other stuff you want to learn in Blender because I'm happy to make more tutorials. See you in the next one.